back to Night River Sports Cards. Thanks for tuning in. Today we've got a new 2024 product we haven't opened on the channel yet. The Monster Boxes. Um, went to my local LCS hoping to find some jumbos or hobby boxes, but I mean, no surprise, those are sold out pretty much everywhere. So. Uh, they had some of these. I haven't opened them yet, and uh, we're going to open a couple of them today and see what we get. Um, the foil board cards are what we're looking at in here. They're exclusive to these, I think. I saw somebody opening these, and they're black this year, so that's pretty sweet. Um, the other exclusive insert is the Tops Mega Stars. I'm not even really sure what that looks like, but we're going to get 16 packs, 14 cards per pack, and 224 total cards. So... They should be a fun rip. Let's get into it. Hope everybody had a great 4th of July weekend and everybody is safe and still has all 10 of their fingers. Not everybody in the country, I'm sure, can say that. We had a good day. We just hung out in the pool and listened to fireworks go off in the neighborhood. We've got three dogs, and they really don't—they really don't like the fireworks. So we don't usually go anywhere or do anything. But we still had a good time. All right, I'm just gonna get into it here. I haven't watched too many people open these, so I'm not sure if you can pull, I haven't seen any, like if anybody has pulled the short print side of here or not, like the fun face or anything like that. The back of that one's very red, anyway. If you guys, wouldn't mind throwing me a like and a subscribe if you're watching this video, that'd be awesome. I love opening cards and even though I'm relatively new to the hobby, I never really collected as a kid or anything. This has been this has been a blast for me to get into, man. I'm having such a good time. Ooh, there's a foil board of the All-Star. That's cool. I'm going to throw a sleeve on that one because it's pretty sweet. I like that. Alright. We've had some good pulls. I opened a case, an entire case of 2024 20, Series 2 Jumbos. And, uh, man, did I get some absolute, just big hits out of those things, man. I, I enjoyed opening those big time. Another foil board, Kyle Tucker on the 1989. That's cool. So if you guys haven't watched that, I mean, the very first box... I hit essentially two case hits. I got a heavy lumber of Austin Riley and also an RPA Henry Davis. Oh, Austin Riley, look at that. Out of the very first box. And the hits didn't stop coming. I can't remember which box it was, but I pulled uh, one of the Kevin Hart short prints also. That was super cool. I've never, I haven't watched a video online of anybody op of anybody actually getting one of those, so it's pretty cool. You should watch, that one's labeled in the title. Um, go back and watch that one too. That one's pretty cool. Aaron Judge. Uh, 
I love that they managed to put all the hits backwards in this pro in the series two product. You don't have to guess whether something is a hit or not, or a insert or something like that. So. Babe Ruth on the All-Star. That's pretty cool. I like that. All-Star foil board. Of the Babe. Let me know in the comments what your guys' biggest hit of this year, uh, this 2024 Series 2 product is. I, uh... Yeah, I don't know which one my biggest hit is, but my favorite hit, um, probably the Kevin Hart SP, just because I th that's a tough pull, man. It was just surreal opening that. I didn't think I'd ever get to see one of those. And at least it was on a good player's card, too. I got a Trey Turner with... Kevin Hart on on it, so pretty cool. Imanaga, Marcus Stroh. Ooh, that's a blue parallel on that one. And the only way you can tell is that line behind them is different is a different color, and it was turned around. So the blue ones aren't numbered, but they're short, like more short printed than the rest of them. It's cool. That's the first blue uh, insert, even out of that entire case of uh, jumbos. I didn't get a blue parallel of any of the inserts. So they are tough pulls. Looks like we've got a gold here. Let's see who we got. For the twins. Is it gonna be a rookie? Pitcher Pablo Lopez. Nice. We got our fair share of these, that's for sure, out of that case of jumbos. And then Kierstad rookie on the 89. Sorry, I dropped the remote for my TV. All right. Here's a backwards card. Maybe a rainbow, probably. A Vodnik. Yep. And then another foil board. Willie Mays. Man. Getting all the friggin' greats from back in the day. Well, that's one way to do it. Don't forget to hit that like button, you guys. And leave me a comment or something. A question I asked earlier or just, I don't know, it doesn't matter. If you don't like me, let me know. Looks like we got another Topps Chrome. Of the MLB stars, Garrett Cole. Ooh, Randy Johnson on the 89 throwback. Nice. I wish all the old product wasn't so expensive to open because I'd love to go back and open some of the product from back then to try and find some of the players that. I grew up watching, even though I didn't collect back then, so I didn't actually open anything. 
but I'd love to have the opportunity to do it, but it's just so damn expensive. I can't justify, you know, spending that much money to try and find a Randy Johnson rookie card when I could just buy one for, you know, 10 bucks or something, whatever they are. But that's not what I enjoy about this hobby. I enjoy having the cards, but the experience of opening. Miguel Vargas on a retail blue. Ichiro on the foil board all-stars. So far, nothing crazy here. We have, what, the one numbered card to 2024. A blue parallel. There's Junior Camonero. And then some cool foil boards. What is this? Is this another foil? Yeah. Juan Soto foil in his Yankees gear. That's a good one. If I had to pick a card so far to top load, it's probably this one. So we just might do that. See if we can get some last bag magic here though. Homer and challenge card in this last one, it looks like. Yep, Josh Young. Hank Aaron. And stars. Let's see, yeah, I think. I mean, other than the foil boards, each one of those, right, is a parallel, but... The one numbered card, the blue variation insert. Yeah. And that was a tough box. That's okay, we're gonna keep going. Let me know uh, if anybody out there is planning on buying Topps Chrome, too. I've got a jumbo, one regular jumbo and one, re or one jumbo and one regular hobby coming. So we'll open those on the channel. Oops. I want to at least experience opening one of each of them. Second box, getting kicked off here. There's a backwards card. DJ LeMahieu, probably a rainbow. Yep. Otani on the 89. In his Dodger stuff. Nice. I heard somebody say that they think they might hold um, Paul Skeens out of any product until next year just because this class was so loaded and the class next year is not going to be as loaded I mean I could I guess I could see them doing that and could understand why um, but man that would suck to not see Skeens get a, a base rookie until next year That would be, I think, a disservice to him and all his fans. I'm a fan. Dude, it's fun to watch pitch. 
Oh, there's a retail blue shimmer. Carlos Rendon. Derek Jeter on the 89. Evan Carter on the regular stars of MLB there. All right. At least we got our numbered card. Another home run challenge here. I need to start putting more of those in. I've got tons of them sitting there. Just waiting. I think I've put probably 15 or 20 in. Maybe 15. And I think the only one... I think I got it right. I forget if... I can't remember if I doubled down or not on a Corbin Carroll home run. And this year, I hope I didn't because he is not hitting well. And I think he's only got two home runs and uh, I don't think that they went very far. But he's starting to warm up a little bit and starting to hit again, so. aboard Mickey Mantle. About halfway done with this last box here. It's the first covering the field that we've seen out of these, I think. Retail Blue, John Birdie, Foil Board Mookie Betts. He is an incredible baseball player, but it's too bad that he is done for the season, is what I'd say if I was a Dodgers fan. They have so much freaking depth, it's not even funny. I mean, they're going to be just fine. Dansby. Although the D-backs, I'm pretty sure, did just take two and win the series. There's Lourdes Gurriel. Christian Walker just absolutely making Yankee Stadium his... His stadium that was insane. Another home run challenge, Bo Bichette. Mike Trout foil board. Julio on the base city to city. Joe Musgrove. Last two packs here. I'm trying to get some magic out of these last two packs. There's another numbered card. This one's just a gold. Ooh, the Diamondbacks team card. I'll take it. Nice. Jazz Chisholm. So two numbered cards out of one of those boxes. Not too bad. We'll take it.
Yamamoto on the foil board. Big time rookie on that foil board. Heck yeah. We'll take that all day. I'll get a sleeve and a top loader for that after after we say goodbye here. So two monster boxes. Um, not crazy about these. Uh, the foil board cards are cool. Um, but you know, unless you get somebody like a Yamamoto, and I mean, this still isn't like a super valuable card, but so unless you pull something like that or like an, an auto or unless you get just like every rookie in the class, they're not going to be, I mean, I didn't get back to what I spent on these, which is fine. I know I'm not going to on everything I open. Um, and I haven't so far on pretty much anything I've opened. So, but what you want to see is a little bit of value, I guess. I mean, I got, I'm happy with these. I got a good rookie on that card. I got a Juan Soto on those and like three numbered cards. Um, so overall successful rip. It was a lot of fun. These are great. The foil boards are, are beautiful. I don't know where I saw the black foil boards. Maybe it's a variation. I'm not sure. Because um, these are definitely not black. But Either way, fun rip. I had a great time hanging out with you guys. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video, probably when we get our tops chrome. So, have a good one.